Hello, this is Haku Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-372, also known as Peripheral Jumpers. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-372, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-372 is to be contained in a cell 5 meter by 5 or meters by two meters, lined with reinforced plexiglass. Embedded into each of the four or walls of this cell will be one infrared motion detector. Feeding will take place once every two weeks, to consist of one kilogram of red meat and uncooked vegetables to be deposited in the, its cell via chute. All guards working near SCP-372 cell must wear helmets with cameras mounted on the, in the forehead. With live feeds to the nearest guard station, in the event of a containment breach, an alert will be sounded that all personnel should watch for any brief flickering and movements, if any brief flickering movements in the corner of their eyes, and to, remor and to report immediately if one is sighted. Description: SCP-372 is a creature of unknown genus, approximately two meters long from head to tail, and weighing approximately 45 kilograms. It has a long, thin body with eight pairs of narrow limbs. Analysis has shown that its muscle fibers are redacted, allowing for extremely fast and precise movements. Every part of its every part of the body is abnormally flexible, and the limbs are coated with small fibers that cling to almost any surface. In place of eyes or ears, it has that expunged. This sensory organ is capable not only of echolocation, but also of detecting energy transfers, such as the electrical impulses in the brains of nearby beings. SCP-372 has learned to time its movements to those pulses, predicting the movements of any being around it. It uses this technique to hide, either by hiding behind the head of a person looking for it, or by hiding in their scotomas, blind spots, and saccades, clipping during eye movement. Oh, saccades. My bad. SCP-372 first came to the attention of the Foundation on a, on a redacted date, when an undercover agent working in at redacted reported seeing a creature that resembled the, the described hallucinations of one of the patients, Mr. Redacted. After thorough investigation, SCP-372 was captured via redacted and it was determined that it had, for unknown reasons, been tormenting the unfortunate patient. It confused him by periodically following him and remaining within sight of him while hiding outside the visual fields of those around him, making him believe that he was hallucinating a monster no one else could see. Unfortunately, the patient had by this time actually become mentally imbalanced due to stress and that expunged. Log of Tests on SCP-372 Participants 2 UD Class Personnel Location Empty Room 6 meter by 5 meters by 3 meters Test Parameters D1 was instructed to stand in the middle of the room, D2 in the corner. Both were, perform were to perform a visual search of the room. SCP-372 was released into the testing room. After 5 minutes, armed personnel Oh, oh, entered and ushered SCP-372 into its holding ink cell, and D1 and D2 were debriefed. Results. After five minutes, D1 reported no sighting, and D2 only detected a few brief flashes. Participants. 2D class personnel. Location, empty room, 6 meters by 5 meters by 3 meters. Test parameters. D1 and D2 were instructed to stand in opposite corners of the room and make a visual inspection of the room once SCP-372 was released into the containment room. After five minutes, both the class had sighted SAP 372 15 times, both at, a, at identical times. It is believed that SAP 372 was starting around in spots where the blind spots in their vision overlapped, 
and occasionally had to break cover and dart into another one when an area was no longer overlapping. Participants, 4D class personnel. Location, empty room, 6 meters by 5 meters by 3 meters. Test parameters. D1, D2, D3, and D4 were interested to stand in the four corners of the room and watch SCP-372. Results. Approximately one and a half seconds after SCP-372 was introduced to the, into the testing area, D3 shrieked and collapsed, spurting blood from a wound on his redacted that seemed to have spontaneously appeared. D1, D2, and D4 abandoned their stations and ran for the locked exit. D4 began pounding on the door before he was also injured, losing one redacted. Huh. D1 and 2 retreated into one corner, D1 curling up into the fetal position while D2 stood absolutely still. No activity was reported for the remainder of the 5 minute test. When the test was as en ended, D3 had expired. D4 required surgical redacted, and D1 and D2 were not physically harmed. None of the surviving test subjects reported seeing in SCP-372 at any time. Notes. Aside from what it did to that mental patient, this is the first time it's actively harmed a person. D3 didn't really have time to do anything that pissed it off either. Did it just get hungry? Doctor redacted. Addendum. Anyone pranking nervous personnel by pretending to be S by pretending to see SCP-372 in front of them will be severely reprimanded. I mean, that was SCP-372, a creature that hides where you just barely can't see it. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!